Hey guys, Xerix Charlie Bravo here on the second episode of Call of Cthulhu. Alright, so I'm sitting here ready to play for the second part to continue after. Oh my god, this shit scares me every time. They keep fucking doing it. They say like the dumbest little shit in the background. It's annoying. So I just want to tell you guys the things I have changed. I bumped up the sensitivity about... God damn. <laughs> Oh my god, it's fucking scary. What the fuck? What the fuck? Dude, keep talking. You gotta have a little fucking conversation over there. Um, I bunched up the, bunched up the sensitivity two points because I noticed it was a little dark, except for you guys, because with the recording. I have also uh, turned off all the lights in my room, and I'm sitting complete pitch darkness playing this game to see if I can add a little more uh, thrill to this. I do apologize for that first episode. There is a lot of cutscenes to kind of... Yeah, too late for me. I, I know. I heard. Um, there is a lot of cutscenes, but hopefully it will change. I, this part is very fuzzy for me, and I don't remember a lot of this. There are certain parts that I remember of this next part coming up. So if I look like I'm just kind of blowing through it, it's because I've played this like nine years ago. But after this, I don't know nothing. So it's going to be a quite an adventure for us all. So a visit to the old town. <sighs> now these dudes are creepy. <sighs> From the start of the investigation and it ends now, you will have a permanent supply of morphine. Great, I got a permanent supply of morphine. Anyone want to buy some morphine? 1922. Driver, how far do we stop? It's almost there. I'll drop you at the town square and meet you. Why lock the gates? Cape South Wanderer is looking for work. You don't want those folks like that interfering with our affairs. Is the bus from Arkham always this empty? Aye, and we prefer it that way. Not many come to Innsmouth. But what about trade? Surely the port needs business. Innsmouth has the means to look after her own. That's creepy. I can't look around. I can't look around. Ah, the statue with its head off. This is it, stranger. End of the line. That's creepy. Dude, that dude's hella creepy. What the fuck? Dude, look at that face. What the fuck? Dude, he's staring my ass down. I'm getting here. Oh, a book. What's this book? Oh. Nothing Fine. of interest. Damn, this hotel's beat up as fuck. Dude, this guy's whacked out like shit. Evening. Hi. My name's Jack Walters. I'm just visiting. You don't say, sir. Gilman. Charlie Gilman. I run this here hotel of an evening. You got any rooms? I'd not rightly know that for sure. All habits cleaning rooms at present. Them's from out of town can leave a horrid mess. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. <laughs> oh, God. Talking to this fellow's getting me nowhere, <laughs> and he's more than a touch creepy. If I need a room, and I'm desperate, <laughs> then I'll come back. Stop your snooping. And there's for okay. hotel staff only. This dude's gonna eat me for breakfast. Oh, a key. Hello again. Yeah? I'm after directions to the First National Grocery Store. And I'm busy. So stop your <laughs> pestering me with questions. <laughs> chit chat to him's gonna get me no place fast. 
Yeah, he doesn't seem to be helping me out much. Now I have to move on. Could you direct me to the first national grocery store? I hear they have a shop in town. I don't know nothing about that. Oh, well, you see, I'm looking for a young lad called Brian Burnham. I'm a friend of the family. He worked in the store. Don't know who you're talking about, Bella. Damn. Look at Potbelly here. What the heck? I'd hate to see his wife. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Whoa. Can't help you. I'm like coming, sniffing around, but they ain't wanted. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. Please, stop bothering okay. me, Stranger. Kino. This statue commemorates the men who fought in the Revolutionary War. His head blown off, so that's interesting. Wait. Is that a double barrel shotgun? I didn't think they had double barrel shotguns in the Revolutionary War. The sign says, Innsmouth Poorhouse, in memory of Lady Warrens. Oh, goody. Wait. Variety store. It's a variety store, oh, and it's closed. That way is blocked by a police line. It's locked. It must lead to the back of the variety store. Excuse me, Constable. Jack Walters. Ah, uh, ropes. Whoa. Alien ropes. What do you want? Could you help out a stranger to this fine port? Are you being funny? No, not at all. I'm after directions to the First National. I hear they have a store in town. Innsmouth don't take too kindly to them from out of town. Damn. Get lost, stranger. He isn't gonna spill with anything useful. It won't budge. Seems this grandiose structure is the esoteric order of Dagon. That's not creepy. I said, oh, what the, what, really, really, right here, right here, I've been searching, right here, fucking stupid, worst detective ever, what's in here, alright, it won't open, whoa, oh, sneaky, sneaky, Oh god. Oh god. Okay. I'm going. Move faster. Oh, save point. Oh, what's down in here? What the heck? Oh, I will save here. There we go. All right. What, where is this? Federal Street. Oh, old car. What's down in here? Damn. Nothing of interest here. Nothing of interest. What the, the door's bolted shut. What the hell the am I supposed to do? Door's bolted shut. The window's smashed. I can see what looks like an old dark room. God damn, where is he? Okay, there he is.
Yeah, I snuck past them. It's unlocked. What? Push it. God, this guy is weak. Uh -huh, he can come in now. Assorted paperwork. But Whoa. nothing of any real interest. Boxes that contain all the treatments you need to patch up any injuries. You can apply to and see your interface with a quick heal button. Sweet! Nope, why can't I grab it? A bogus. Ooh, cash register! The tail's empty. Looks like the door was forced open, and there's scratch marks on the wood. That's creepy. Ooh, safe. What's in here? There's a bottle of bootleg rum and a wooden handle. Bootleg rum. The drawer is empty. A typewriter. Let's get drunk. Invoices and receipts. Bootleg rum. What the hell? Oh, what the? Okay, um, there you go. Oh, God! up man I didn't even get to search around the place <clears throat> what the hell's down here oh met back yeah whoa I should not have taken that morphine it looks like a diary. Holy dude, my guy got to have some clues. Oh, it's oh, oh, legit. All right. Is there something I want? Oh, I see. Oh my god, I found that on that one. What the fuck? I thought there was something up there. What's over here? Oh, battery downstairs. Why don't I want me in? Here we go. The cellar's filled with human remains. That's creepy. This is really creepy. What's... There are some issues of the Innsmouth Courier line here, and they're dated 1846. Holy crap. 1846. Yeah, what's in there? What's in there? Let's go see. Uh, Innsmouth Courier. <sighs> Accused of devil worship and other civil practices. Holy crap. That's creepy. Devil worship. There we go, guys. That's it. This is all devil worship. Various chemicals and apparatus for developing photographs. Old photos of Innsmouth. Most of them have faded beyond recognition. Can't see anything. Yeah, in what's in here? Oh, printing press. What is that? Ammo! Yeah! Eight. Eight bullets, but oh damn, point forty-five. Nothing. Nope, nothing of interest. General notices, 
They're all dated 1846. Wait, was that the same time? That was the same time, 1846. Alright. Oh. I ain't gonna unlock that yet. Let's look around. General notices. They're all dated 1846. Whoa! <laughs> <Holy> <laughs> exactly shit. what I was saying. <laughs> nope, What's in that? Nothing important here. Nope, nothing of interest. What? It's not important. It's a freaking steel box. Ah, from the stench in here, this noose broad must have kicked it a few months back. Oh, there goes my guy. He's sight. Oh my god. Vision tweaking. It oh my open. god. I can barely see. The door is bolted shut. Here we go. Here we go. Nothing of interest. Whoa. Hello, Jack. Do I know you? Lucas Mackey. Sorry to startle you. Insmith doesn't get a lot of visitors. New names spread fast. What are you doing in town, Jack? Hear about the missing Burnham boy? Not bad. I'm a private detective. My client's a friend of the Burnhams. Seen the latest press from Arkham? Your boy's been quite busy. Hmm. What about you, Mackey? You're obviously not a local. What's your business in town? <laughs> True enough, Jack. Nothing too exciting, I'm sorry to say. I'm a government factory inspector. They posted me in this rotten hole to check over the old Marsh refinery. Speaking of which, I've got an appointment with the manager, Jacob Marsh. Okay. Maybe I'll catch you later. That's the first friendly face I've seen in this damn town. But I've been in this business long enough to know he's hiding something. Alright, I'm gonna save. I might as well just save. This is the old town, I'll cover it over. <coughs> Saving game takes forever. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Alright. I got to be careful. Because old crazy police dudes here. Where'd he go? Whoa. What the fuck was that? You'd better oh, what the hell? Trap shot. I won't tell him anything. Let's see if this guy will talk to me. What happened here, Constable? Oh, yeah. Nothing. Oh, swell. You can let me pass then? No. You'll have to go another. All right, that guy's creepy. It's locked. Store. It must lead to the back of a variety oh. store. We can go to the poorhouse. What's in here? It won't budge. All right. Oh, whoa. why are you following me? It's locked. What's in this door? It won't Let me see what I got here. I got journal. Game time, 35 minutes. All right. It's the first national grocery oh, store. Oh, I go down a dark alley. That's that's amazing. That's great. What's in here? All right. It won't open. What about here? Okay. It won't budge. Anything there? Strange old dude staring at me. Let me guess. Won't budge. 
Yep. It won't budge. What the fuck is it with this place? Open. Oh, okay. That went back to there. Ah, oh, I like to. This town's I like to rummage through the town. Where's everybody? Just leave me be, stranger. Okay, that's promising. That's also promising. Let's look here. What store? The store is closed. Recent Co. Haulage. Okay. Oh, gas station. Here. The station appears to be closed. Any gas? A device that pumps highly compressed air. What the fuck is that sound? Oh, a check. Evening. Uh, the name's Jack Walters. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss. Miss will do for now. Welcome to Innsmouth, Mr. Walters. Thanks, I think. Take my advice. Do what you must and then leave. Tonight, this port does not cater well to visitors. While I appreciate your concern, Miss, I can handle lousy hospitality. Very well, Mr. Walters. Alrighty then, she was of no use. Okay, there's an... This doll seems more open than some folks around these parts, but she isn't going to talk to me right now. Oh. Hello, Mackie. Jack, swell to see you again. Any leads on the Burnham case? Nope. Did you know the lad at all? Just pleasantries. Seemed a nice enough fella, if a little rough around the edges. Strange business, though. I'd never have fingered him as a crook. The First National was a well-run store. A rare thing here in Innsmouth. Okay, Mackie. Thanks. Goodbye, Jack. Be careful what you're doing. Very careful. Innsmouth's a dangerous place. Not everyone who visits here ends up leaving by the old bus route. This Mackie character knows plenty. But I don't think grilling him for scraps of information is going to crack this case. Okay. What's in here? Of course it, it doesn't open. open. Nothing opens in this goddamn place. Storage. Okay, what's in this alleyway? It's shut. Nothing. Won't budge. It won't budge. Old lid. Oh, okay. <coughs> oh. What is down here? It's just an advertisement for the local <laughs> Methodist church. It with won't budge. With a good wind piping early in the south and south and smile. My voice is the fucking wall. Of the noble and the brave who love a life in the tempest strife. In the home of the mountain <laughs> way. When the driving rain of the hurricane has the lights of the lighthouse out. And the growling thunder sounds his gong. And the whirlwinds battle out. Ha ha! Do you think that's the valiant shrink? No, no. <laughs> Who's that there? Oh, can you spare a few pennies, young mister? I can give you something for your generosity. Who are you? Zadok, that be my name. Though too few years it now. Zadok Allen. Do you know a Brian Burnham? Just the youngin. Worked over the store. He's gone. Killed, I reckon. Killed? What makes you think that? Them's from out of town running a store. Taking business from the Order of Dagon. They'd not accept that. What else can you tell me about this port? You just bring old Zadok a bottle of something nice. You know, Zadok? The old rock. Here he is. <coughs> Boom. Get the drunk dude some more fucking liquor. Why, you're uncommonly kind, young feller. Here be a little something in gratitude that may help you in your search. 
What'd I get? Now you be calling yeah. Now you be calling me crazy. Like them that's the rumor in an anchor on the lip switch. But old Zadok's seen all manner of wicked things since before you was born. Mm. Ah. Old Captain Movid where it all began. Telling desperate folks they'd order get better gods. Them's that would answer their prayers. Didn't the Christian folk of Innsmouth object to such blasphemy? Aye, they did. It were around 46 that many folks in town were done with Ovid and his ways. And all that wild preaching and too many missing, you see. Uh, a party of good folk followed Captain Ovid's crowd out to the reef. Shots were fired. Next day, Obed and thirty of his fathers were in jail. And for weeks all were quiet. Till that artful night of forty-six. Them's out outside reckon out it being a riot. But I'd seen them. Swarms of them. Look, old man. I don't have time to listen to these fishing tales. Oh, was a massacre. The jail thrown open. Mounds of the dead and the dying. <gasps> Shooting and screaming and shouting all across the town square. Come morning, the mess was cleaned up. Old Obed and his family takes charge, they did. Folks were told to keep shy as strangers if we were known what was good for us. Huh. Sadok. Who did all this? Who did it? Said the old captain was now deeper in debt to his even gods. They were hankering for more than just sacrificing. Ovid told folks they had to take the oaths of Dagon. What the hell are these oaths? <laughs> He's passed. <laughs> you just asked old wastes about oaths of Dagon. Aye, he take the third oath. Just head over to his hole in the dark street. Then you'll see. For definite. He's given me a key to the Sweet. town poorhouse. It could come in handy. It won't budge. A seedy looking bar called the... Where did Captain Ovid Marsh oh, learn of these heathen matters? In war and foreign parts, the old fool I lent to ways of making gains, oh. doing even things. He found a tribe of Canuckies in the South Seas led by a savage. Chief went by a name of Wallachia. And his tribe never went without food, for they had all the fish they could catch. Old Obed learned from his Wallachia that these things on this earth as most folks <sighs> never hear Crazy old about. drunk dude just keep fucking talking. Seems these Canuckies was worshipped in undersea gods. With heaps of human sacrifices and other even things. But they was getting all kinds of favors in return. Plenty of fishing and even gold now and then. Human sacrifices? Maybe you <laughs> had just a bit too much. <clears throat> I don't blame you for not believing it, young fellow. But just answer me this. Why did the Captain Obed roll out to the reef of Satan and chant a lot of rites and incantations in the dead of night? So loud you can hear them all over the port. He cast something in the water that eve, out the other side of Devil's Reef. Some kind of Thingamajig crafted out of lead. It was given to him by a while again. So, what happened? Well, not long after the smoke started coming out of the chimneys at the old gold refinery, the Marsh family and those that had joined with Obed in his ways started prospering in the Isatek 
Esoteric order of Dagon came into being with his Ethan Sermon. Sermon. That shit they do. What kinds of ceremonies? Mm. Get out of here, lad. Don't waste nothing. They'll know now. Um. <laughs> he I think he's had his filth tonight. <laughs> <laughs> He's snoring. <laughs> it won't budge. All right. Oh shit! Oh shit! Crazy woman, lady. Mr. Walters, I must speak with you. It's Jack. And just hold on there a minute, sweetheart. Are you going to even tell me your name? My name's Rebecca Lawrence, and unless you want to join Innsmouth's long list of missing, I'd urge you to follow me. Missing, huh? Like Burnham? Of that, I'm not sure. You'd be better off asking the Billingham's daughter, Ruth. She was dating Brian. What? Who's Ruth? Quickly, you have to follow me. It's not wise to be seen talking to outsiders. Jack, Innsmouth is a strange place. There are things that have no business being here. Foul, things. Oh, we're in that alley thing. Strange. By the Trust me. Bum I'm dude. Good strange. That remains to be seen. But I can help you. My father discovered this strange sign while studying an old manuscript. It seems to ward off the more unusual elements in Innsmouth. Whenever you find one, you can use it to find a moment of sanctuary. Now, I must leave. What the heck? Before we're seen together. It's the eye thing with the fire. I've seen that eye-like symbol somewhere before, but never surrounded by a star. Oh, I can save! Yeah! Save. All right, save. All right, let's do this. How can I sprint in this game? Whoa. What the hell am I watching? Memories or a creature thing? What the hell? Let's go see if they have a room open. Oh, that place is still closed. Hello, Gilman. What do you want now? Strange thing about that Burnham lad. Burnham? Kent rightly says I know what you're talking about. That's odd. It was all over the Arkham Press. Must have been a bit of a local scandal. Them's matters for the police, stranger. Innsmouth's not a town for rumoring and talking. God damn, he's still not... How's business? Can't you see I'm busy? Stop you bothering make... me with your talking. Sorry. Aye, I'm plenty sure you are. Where do I go for the night? God damn. Crazy bastard. Oh, poor house. I got a key. What else I got? I got bullets. Key. Okay. It's unlocked. Damn, we'll have to pull out a phone. Smokes. Whoa. Monitor your heartbeat and breathing carefully to keep track of your current sanity. As your sanity deteriorates, these effects will become more pronounced. Great. That's awesome. I totally want to lose the shit out of my insanity. If I see you without fire, I'll report your order. I'll not say nothing. Where is everybody? 
it's very quiet. Please stop bothering me, stranger. All right, then. It won't open. Let's go see this dude. It won't budge. Hey. It's the entrance to the town poorhouse. Where is everybody? Dude, look it's at his very eyes. Quiet. I reckon you might scare him <laughs> off of that ugly <laughs> face of yours. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> that is hella fucked up. Do you need any help? What the hell? Disease is rampant in this town. It won't Alrighty open. then. Can't go to the door. I don't trust this dude to not follow me. Alright, okay. Holy shit, it's dark in here. It won't budge. Whoa. Window. Whoa, what the fuck? Old lady what the hell away. was that? The food is rotten. What the hell? Die soon enough. What the hell is that? Oh my fucking god. I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't know what the fuck that is. I'm out. I'm out. Fuck this. I'm leaving. Her sleep is Ew. restless and erratic. Stop on him. Stop on him. This shit ain't working. This almshouse is home you to the old and the destitute. This guy's quite the detective. The old woman's dead. Oh, goody. Of course it won't open. Oh it god, open. I don't want it to fall through. Oh. Alright, there is something freaking crazy coming around along these roofs. What's down here? Alright, nothing. Won't open. Bells and co, bells and co. Wait. Bells and co, bells and co. What the fuck? Holy shit, she's ugly. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Whoa. I ain't never had an old Burnham. Alrighty then. Hello there, little lady. Hi, sir. Are your parents at home? Daddy's at work, and Mommy's upstairs in the attic. She's been bad. I see. So, what's your name, little lady? Ramona. Well, Ramona, could you get your Mommy for me? Nope. Mommy bites. Daddy says we've got to keep her up there for her own good. Excuse me? When I go near the door, she growls. I don't love Mummy like I love my daddy. You don't say. Ramona, I really need to speak to your daddy. Do you know when he'll be home? Soon, I think. You can wait inside if you like. Daddy won't mind. I'm drawing pictures with my crayons. That would be great. Thanks. All right. This is a bit creepy, Jack. I should check the place over while I've got the chance. Nothing of interest. What are you drawing, Ramona? Pictures of mommy and daddy. What are you drawing, Ramona? Pictures of mommy. An old chuck. It won't budge. Whoa, what the fuck? It won't budge. <laughs> okay. I hear that. 
It's a recent family photo. The corner's been torn off. I can only see Thomas and Ramona Waits in the picture. What the heck? It won't open. Whoa. It won't open. Okay, there's a locked door. It won't budge. The attic is never a good place. Oh, man. Wait, that was the bed that I saw in that weird flashback thing. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> What the? <laughs> oh god! Oh! Oh, I think that little girl just got ripped! Oh my god, my heart's racing! What the hell? Why am I in asylum now? Damn it, was this a dream? Why is it like I'm choking myself? Whoa. <laughs> what am I looking at? When I, oh god, I'm looking at the ground. Great. Looks diary like from a that diary. Crazy crocodile Nothing woman. Of interest. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Oh god, no. They've taken the last thing I loved away from me. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what was up there. What the hell was that thing? There's no time to explain. They'll be here soon. Listen to me closely. You've been the talk of the town all day, asking after the Burnham lad. I heard he never made it to Boston, that he was copped by the Order of Dagon. Did he pocket anything from the store's safe? Thankfully, no. It's sturdy. He'd never have wrenched it open with a crowbar. There's something in there that needs protecting from the order. You've got to get it out of Innsmouth. Take the key to the back of my store. The safe combinations in my diary upstairs. Hurry, Jack. What the hell's in the safe anyway? You've gone too far this time, wait. We're taking you in for mur- You'll swing for this. Wait, he didn't do anything wrong. He killed his own daughter. His own flesh and blood. There's plenty wrong with that. I'm reckoning you do well to mind your own business, stranger. It ends unless we handle things by the old ways. He throws the chick over his shoulders and his stomach is gapping wide open. What the hell is wrong with this place? It won't open. Okay, did I get that diary? That's what budge. I need to make sure. Alright, I got it. What is the code? Okay, yesterday was her birthday. Yesterday was her birth 10th birthday. The change cannot be far off. Her birth gave me such joy so much that I will still use the month, day, and year as the four number combination for my safe. And that order is starting clockwise. 
Where do I see the date? Damn it, where's the date? It's Ramona's coloring. Wait, what's the date today? Does it tell me? February 6, so 2-6-22, but then... Last entry in the diaries from today, it reads... Yesterday, okay, so yesterday was her 10th birthday. Today's February 6, right? February, was it February 6? Yeah. So that would be two five twenty two. Okay, if, it, if I did it right. Look, it won't budge. Nothing of interest here. So two five twenty two, I think, is the safe. Okay, crazy woman. I'm gonna leave her alone. Oh, great. Jack. Great. Jack. She's here. Oh, thank God I found you. Wait's been arrested for the murder of his daughter. I know. It's my fault, Rebecca. What are you talking about, Jack? What's your fault? There was something in the attic. Some kind of animal, and I let it loose. It's all my fault. The police drag Waits off. He can't take the fall for this. He's done nothing wrong. We gotta do something. <sighs> Guilty or not, the Order will see him lynched for it. There's nothing you can do. Oh, you must have taken quite a bang in there, Jack. What? Your head's bleeding. Yeah, I think I was out of it for a little while. I see you've got some bandages. Use them on your head. It'll My help head you hurt. heal. What? You're not losing too much blood. You won't need a suture. Thanks, Rebecca. Oh damn! My head is banged up. I didn't think I could do this. Do my eyes hella badged up. You're telling me I can't fix my eye? Oh my god. We freaking walk around with no eye. What the hell? Oh. Whenever you suffer a sanity loss, you risk developing a mental condition. These conditions can take form of audio, visual, and controller effects. Oh great. That's freaking fantastic. What, is shit gonna go inverted on me now? Dude, what the hell's wrong with my dude? He's like... Oh. That's useful. Okay. Ooh, sweet. Can I lock it's the door? Unlocked. No, I cannot. Damn it. Alright, this town's freaking creepy as fuck. Oh. Hanging pigs. Oh my god, look at the... <laughs> look at the body. <laughs> oh my god, it's terrible. What the hell? You don't look like your standard crook, sweetheart. Jesus, you crazy sap! Who the hell are you? Jack Walters, private detective. And considering your recent break in and entering, Damn. how about I ask the questions? Have you any idea who I am? No, and I really don't care. My family has influential contacts in the Order, so I'd advise you to mind your manners, sir. <laughs> I'm from out of town. The Order doesn't hold much sway with me. Really? Out of town, you say? How interesting. I'm Ruth. Ruth Billingham. 
Huh. You're Brian's broad. That figures. Brian? Uh, I don't believe I know a Brian. Yeah, right. I've been fed that line a thousand times, <laughs> and for much better liars than you. Look, Ruth, the rumor around town is that your lover boy is in the hands of the Order. What? No, that's not true. They'll have him killed. It was all my idea. I just wanted a clean break from here. What do you want me to do? I don't know. You're the detective. You think of something. I'll be waiting out at the old fishing cannery the next two nights, just past the abandoned railway station to rally. When you find him, give him this. He'll know it's from me. All right. Still need Brian. I've already talked to his broad. Okay, there you go. Health pack. Anything else? Why is my guy breathing so loud? That's annoying. Okay, so... 2, 5, 22. Five... No. 2... 5... 2... 2. Okay, I did it wrong, I think. Okay. So two. Five. Two. Two. Damn it. That's not right. All right. Okay, let's try the sixth and not the fifth. Okay, so two, six, two, two. God, I must have made a mistake. All right, let's try the seventh then. Two, seven, two, two. Okay, what take I do wrong there? So, okay, so counterclockwise. Oh, it's wrong. No, that's right. Two. Seven, two, and then gotta go all the way around to two. Why isn't it opening? Oh my That's god, not of right. course it ain't. What am I missing? February 6, 1922. Yesterday was her 10th birthday. She the change so much that I will use the month, day, and year. What am I missing? What am I missing? What am I missing? Okay. So... Two. 
today is the 7th. Yesterday would be the 6th. So why didn't that not work? 2, 6, 22. What am I missing? Okay, 2. 6. 22. All right. That's not what right. am I doing wrong here? What am I missing? I gotta be missing something. I gotta be missing something. So, um, oh. it's gonna take me days to figure this out. It's simple. I don't even know what I'm missing. Okay. I think this is the farthest I've ever gotten. I was a little kid and I quit. So after this, I don't know anything else. So, Arkham 57. Alright, you know what? I'm going to end the video here. And I'm going to come back to you guys on the third episode. Hoping to know this goddamn freaking code. So, stay tuned, guys. Because I'm going to try to figure this out. And when I do, I'm going to start another video. And that'll be the third episode, because this episode is 56 minutes long. Holy crap. All right. Thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for the next video.